Welcome back to another do's and don'ts video. Today we're going to be looking at some intermediate skills and mistakes players make. And the first one you can see here is not thinking about our non-racket arm. This is quite easily forgotten. If we have that non-racket arm down, it also means that we probably don't prepare and reach up early for any of our shots. And you can see in this shot here, we're taking it quite low as a result. So it's important that preparation is up as well as the non-racket arm. So they go hand in hand. Now if we look at some good technique here, you'll see how that bracket's prepared nice and early and we've got that left arm out to counterbalance our weight of our head and help us keep good posture as we're moving and preparing for the shot. So you see there, nice and high. This allows us to take the shuttle nice and early and generally when I do my net shots, if possible, I aim to take it at the same height as the tape. So you can see here, I'm taking it nice and early looking to reach up, step up, get that shuttle at my earliest point. And when I can, I get it at the same height as the tape. Our second mistake people make is where they contact the shuttle in relation to their body. So you'll see here on this shot, how I strike the shuttle out to the side. As a result, I'm a little bit off balance. You see how I'm having to lean over and my head's leaning to one side. This also has an impact on my recovery because I'm off balance. It means I'm not coming straight back to base, ready for the next shot. Now if we look at what our good technique should look like, it should involve us reaching up nice and early, and we're looking to strike that shuttle roughly above the shoulder, as you can see here. Nice high contact point. This is gonna allow us to create some good angles from the back of the court, and also a longer lever is gonna give us a little bit more power as well. Okay, our next do's and don'ts is players that try and hit everything as hard as they can with a massive swing. You can see here, the shuttle's coming flat at Daryl, but he's got a massive swing right behind his head. And you see how he looks a little bit wild when he's hitting these, a little bit all over the place. There's no control. So this is a good angle to watch it from. See how he's having to take a lot of effort to bring that racket back. And as a result, he's probably not timing some of these very well. If you were standing my end, they're definitely going everywhere. Okay, so we take a look at some good technique. We're keeping that racket and especially the backswing a little bit shorter, a little bit sharper. This is gonna help us probably get more power because we're timing the shuttle better. As you can see here, he's having a shorter backswing, keeping the racket in front of the body. He's not bringing it right behind his head. And it's also gonna allow us to react a little bit quicker to the next shot. That racket's not having a big swing and going right behind the head. This next one links in to the previous one. And you can see Daryl's got a massive follow through when he's around the net area. And you can see he's making quite a few mistakes because he's dragging that racket down. And you can see well from this angle where that racket's going on the follow through, right down. And although he can hit some good shots, he's dragging quite a few down and not hitting with very much control. And he's certainly not gonna be ready for that next shot. Because like you see here in this one, he's nice and sharp. He's ready instantly for that next shot. You see he's hit it and straight away he's ready nice and quick. So if you look at this angle here, you can see it's nice, short, snappy. Especially, like you see the follow through there. Especially when that shuttle's closer to the net, the swing's even shorter to allow him to keep the control and not risk hitting it into the net. If we take a look at a continuous rally with that short swing, you can see how quick he is. I'm punching these back at him quite quick. He's reacting quite fast. You know, he's on balance, on control. You know, he hasn't got a massive follow through and that racket is still on the floor. Short, sharp, snappy, no mistakes. Well done, Daryl. So our next one involves grip changing. And you can see how Daryl is changing his grip the long way around the racket handle. This means he doesn't use his fingers. He's having to sort of throw the racket to change it. It's quite hard to see on this next shot, but he's not hitting the shuttle with a different side of the racket. So you should be hitting the forehand with one side, backhand on the other side. I find that's a good way to remember it. So you can see here from this one, what I just talked about, how he's able to change the grip a little bit sharper because he's using the fingers now and not have to throw it and catch it every time. This is gonna allow him to be a little bit sharper when he's changing grips around the front, especially when the rallies are sped up. If you'd like to see some more badminton do's and don'ts, then click on this video here. 